Prince Harry was pictured appearing to be beaming with joy and laughing with Princess Royal at King Charles' coronation. Some people believe that Princess Anne appears to have buried a hatchet with Prince Harry. Others suggested that Princess Anne was having a conversation with the daughter Zara Tyndall. Zara is looking straight at her mother. The Princess Royal was not speaking to Harry. Even the princess's husband didn't want to make conversation. Harry tried to greet Princess Anne with a joke, but his face became flustered and serious, and he looked down at the floor. Then Princess Anne got to a seat in front and turned around to find her place. He once again tried to engage her, but seemed to be ignored. So he pretended everything was all right and was forced to smile and try to join in on a conversation some people were having. According to body language expert Judy James, while waiting for King Charles to arrive at the coronation, Prince Harry allegedly made a bizarre gesture toward Princess Anne. She tells the mirror as Harry waited in his seat for his father and brother to arrive. There were some subliminal signs of building tension or anxiety. He sucked his lips and licked them, and his blink rate increased, suggesting adrenaline prompted by nerves. Judy then says that the Duke of Sussex started staring at Anne, who was sitting in the room in front, making an unusual gesture. She continues, his eye gaze fixed on his aunt, who was chatting in the seats in front, and then his head dropped down. Judy's also explains how Harry looked happy when he arrived with his royal cousins, walking into the abbey in front of the pack, which also consisted of Beatrice's husband, Eduardo Mapoli Mosi and Eugene's Jack Brooksbanksara, daughter of Princess Anne and former rugby professional husband Mike Tyndall. Before entering the ceremony, however, eagle eyed viewers from home saw Harriet appear to mouth the word hi at his dear cousin Zara, who turned her back on the rest of the group to greet him. Zara was being polite. He said hi, so she said hi back. She didn't get into a deep conversation with him, and Mike didn't say anything, Judy explains. Harry arrived with the Sussex posse, the royal cousins Beatrice and Eugene, and their husbands who've remained friends throughout the royal rifts, chatting first to Eduardo. He then got the attention of Eugene and Jack, and we saw an incredible return of the Joker Prince as Harry grinned and used two hands cupped widely under his stomach to do what looked like a mime of Eugene's heavily pregnant state. After making the couple laugh, Harry fell back to walk in alone. Judy also explained that Harry was very confident when he walked into the coronation, the body language expert added. Still smiling and with his cheeks rounded, he then proceeded to perform a display of what looked like rather cocky bravado. His striding walk looked jaunty as he pushed one side of his jacket away before making his way up the aisle, nodding, grinning, and using eyebrow flash rituals, and chatting with people in the congregation as though signaling to the world that he was upbeat and confident and happy to be back. While walking in, Harry gave courteous greetings to some of the other guests, saying hello, morning, and nice to meet you to various people. A lip reader has also claimed. He said look at that while noticing the grandeur of the occasion and also said delightful. It's believed that seating arrangements have been one of the sticking points that had caused the delay and Harry responding as to whether he would attend the historic event.